Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Welcome to my Pole Pay review. Now, guys, I reviewed Pole Pay months and months ago, but I've been informed by the developers that they've made a lot of new changes to the application, and they were nice enough to actually sponsor this review. So I cannot wait to get stuck back into Pole Pay. If you guys watched my previous review, you'll know that I had a good experience with this application. So let's see what's different on Pole Pay this time around. I do hope you enjoy the video, by the way. Let's kick it off now. For the people that don't know what Pole Pay actually is, Pole Pay is an application that rewards you guys with real life money for completing surveys. And thankfully, Poll Pay is actually available on multiple platforms, everyone, including your iPhone, your Android, and your PC, which I appreciate so much because that means more of you guys out there can actually start earning money from completing surveys, no matter what device you actually own. PollPay has over 5 million downloads amazingly. It's probably one of the biggest survey applications on the marketplace right now. And at the current time of this recording, it actually has 4.5 stars out of 5 on the Google Play Store. And we're talking about almost half a million ratings, everyone. So you can definitely respect that. When it comes to the actual application, PollPay has a very basic layout, which makes it very simple to understand. Essentially, as soon as you sign up to PollPay, this is where you'll have to enter in your real life information. Something that people don't understand about survey applications and what I've said on multiple videos covering other survey applications is that these companies expect you to enter in real details because what ends up actually happening everyone is that you will get cross-referenced throughout your time completing surveys on PollPay and even other survey applications as well. And if the survey providers or even PollPay themselves detect that you're using different answers, you end up getting kicked out of the surveys. And I found during my experience making these videos, this happens all the time to people because they don't trust the application. Now, PollPay is a company in Germany, everyone, and they are very strict on privacy rules. So this is something you have to keep in mind. Of course, survey applications might not be for everyone. So if you still cannot trust an application, then this might not be for you. And that is perfectly fine still. Something that really stood out to me about PollPay, everyone, is just how easy they deliver the surveys to you. What ends up happening is once you've signed up for the app and entered in all the required details, PollPay will then deliver a whole bunch of surveys to you to complete. And I actually thought they might go a little bit slower this time around since I created a whole new account to use the application to make sure that I got a fresh look at the app. But no, everyone, they literally delivered like five or 10 surveys for me to complete straight away. And mind you, this had no affiliation with PollPay. This was a brand new account I created without telling them what it was. So hopefully you guys will actually get the same amount of surveys when you sign up as well. Whether or not you actually are able to complete them or not, that's a whole nother story depending on your answers, the country you're in, your age and your gender. That's really what these apps look for as well when they decide what surveys they're gonna give you. And that's something you have to remember everyone, different countries will get different surveys and different payout rates. The payout rates I got here in Australia per survey were literally through the roof. It actually amazed me that I was getting surveys that paid me three or four dollars per completion. Though mind you, this is where the difficulty factor comes into play with the surveys that PollPay offers you. Because PollPay will actually have a five star rating on each of the surveys where it will decide how easy the survey is to complete or how hard it's going to be for you guys to complete it. Generally, you wanna to stick to the five star rated surveys because that's where the general consensus of the public has said that these are the most easiest surveys to complete. So you'd have a greater chance of actually completing a survey that's five stars compared to the ones that are rated about three stars or below. So that's something you really have to keep in mind as well. Surveys actually do have their own difficulty meters. Now to talk about my personal experience on poll pay completing surveys, I still got disqualified even though I did enter in legitimate information guys and it happened about four or five times during my three hour run on poll pay. Now disqualifications can happen for various reasons and usually it's a survey provider that actually kicks people out. But something I noticed is that when I try to rush through the surveys and not really pay attention to the questions, that's when I got kicked out the most. Because when surveys take around 15 minutes to complete on average, sometimes I just got in the habit of just trying to rush through. But then I ended up getting kicked out which wasn't fun at all. 
well. Sometimes you actually have to manually enter in answers as well. And if you enter too short of an answer, it will kick you out. So that's something you really have to pay attention to as well. But in my opinion, as long as you're honest and you try and complete the surveys the best that you can, especially the five star rated surveys, you should have a smooth experience on poll pay. It's the exact same concept as when I covered it months ago, everyone. Not too much has changed. The main thing that I did notice that changed though was the pay rates. Again, I have no idea why they offer such high pay rates. I would love to know what your pay rates are in your country, everyone, because I'm here in Australia. And as I said, I got offered really high pay rates. I did notice as well, though, that poll pay will have limits on how many surveys that you can really complete per day. So in total, it took me around three days to get together all the footage to show you all. But in reality, it only took me three hours of total recording time. So that's something you have to keep in mind, everyone. You can smash through the surveys extremely fast but there does seem to be a limit on how many surveys you can complete per day. Before I cashed out the $15, I did notice that I had to have an active account for I think around five days before poll pay would actually allow me to cash out that PayPal money. I'm assuming this is because they're running verification checks on your account to make sure that you're not a bot or something along those lines. I do recommend that you complete a survey straight away as soon as you install poll pay. So then poll pay will actually start that timer off to allow you to cash out within five days. If you do have problems on a survey as well, you can report surveys, which I actually did myself during my experience on poll pay because some surveys actually didn't work properly for me. Certain buttons wouldn't work right, but I did back out and report those surveys to poll pay so hopefully they'll get fixed. I do know the support team works very, very fast. So that's something I really do appreciate. Now I wanna talk about the website version of Poll Pay. So guys, there is obviously a website that you can sign into and complete surveys from your computer. The layout of this website is extremely easy to understand. Just think of it as the Poll Pay app, but on your computer guys. It's really not too hard to follow at all. I had no problems with it, but I did notice the surveys might differ from your app to the website. So please keep that in mind. I would actually complete all the surveys on the app version, and then I would head to the website to see if there's any extra surveys. That's just my personal experience. But as you can see on the screen, there's no real dramas with completing a survey on the website version. I'll have a link to that in the description below as well, of course. There's actually a really good referral system on poll pay as well if you guys want to actually invite your friends and family. If you guys invite someone and they join through your invite link, you'll then earn 15% of what they earn as well every time they complete a survey. Plus, the person that you invite starts off with around 25 cents as a welcome bonus, which is always nice to see, obviously. All of Polpay's social medias are in the description below, guys. Polpay actually runs extra activities for you guys to earn money on their websites and on their social media accounts. They also offer a newsletter as well. This newsletter also includes giveaways, updates on the app itself, and other news regarding the Polpay application, of course. Okay everyone, let's complete this survey for $1.86. As soon as we start the survey off, we are actually being cross-referenced by the survey provider. This is because they are trying to see if we are going to be honest with our answers. That's why it's so important to always use the same answers you signed up with to poll pay all these survey providers. After answering these questions with what I signed up with, I was then greeted with this question here. What would you say was the biggest single headache you face with technology today? With questions like these, the survey provider is looking for at least a one or two sentence answer. If you enter only one or two word answers on questions like this, you will run the risk of being screened out because it doesn't meet their minimum requirements. After passing that question, I then had one final test to prove that I was not a robot and that was by selecting the right pictures. But then I was finally granted access to the survey. This survey provider wanted to know about my traveling habits. For privacy sakes, I can't show you the whole survey, but as you can see, I still had questions that required in-depth answers. So again, you must always read the questions carefully and answer with an appropriate response. If your response is too short or does not make sense, you'll probably get screened out of the survey. I like to reply to surveys like I would reply to someone in real life, guys. So always think of it that way and you should be okay. After 15 minutes, I completed the survey and was rewarded a dollar and 86 cents to my poll pay balance. It's as straightforward as that, everyone.
But once the wait was over, I was able to cash out that $15 with no problems whatsoever. The PayPal money hit my account straight away. Gift cards might take a few days for processing. Because yes everyone, you can get gift cards as well on PolPay depending on your country, so please keep that in mind. And while we're on that topic, the minimum cash outs will vary depending on your country as well. Back when I first reviewed PolPay, there was an option for a $10 cash out, but now that's actually gone. So that might be one of the changes that the developers actually made. So just like the first time I reviewed PolPay, PolPay paid me again instantly. I also noticed when I got kicked out of surveys, they actually rewarded me with like one or two cents, which was quite funny to me. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So there you have it, everyone. And that's my opinion on PolPay. It paid me yet again. And a very special thank you to the PolPay team for sponsoring this review. I will catch you all in the next one to two days. Please stay safe out there. Catch you next time.